And how many people in Monterey have a Super Bowl trophy on television? Well, we do, thanks to Dave August. And you're going to see Dave. Well, there he is. Dave August brought us the Super Bowl trophy. Dave, welcome. Well, thank you for having me, Gary. Tell me about this trophy. Who did this trophy belong to? It's a replica trophy. It was Larry Allen's, former Niner, former Niner and former Dallas Cowboy. And it's a replica, so it's not a real one. And um, That's just, okay. It looks like we, a real one. We just brought it out today to put on the set and I let people it. see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Now, the real Super Bowl trophy, is it heavier than this one? I believe so. Okay. Because this is... A little heavy, but not like I see the guys holding it on Super Bowl Sunday. No. You know, they're passing it around. In not fact, like Tom Brady throwing it across yeah, the boat. Yeah, he threw it across <laughs> the, what, the, the yeah, other team. The other team? Wow, wow. Or the other, wow. Play, other friends of his on the yeah, other boat. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to put this over here, and then I have another picture that you brought. And this, we'll show this one. Dylan, let me... Uh, let me show this. Okay, that is you a few years back, and who is the player of the Raiders? That is Daryl Hobbs. He was a dear friend of mine, a receiver for the Raiders. Uh, we still talk every day. Just a good, good gentleman. Just an awesome, awesome player on top of that. And that was when I was working with the Raiders in 1995. And you were with the Raiders how long, Dave? Uh, from 95 to uh, 2000. 95 to 2000. So you knew uh, the owner very well, didn't you? Yes, I knew Mr. Davis. Mr. Awesome man. Mr. Davis. And I have to give you a little bit of background about this gentleman here. I went up to Menlo Park, the gentleman who you met in the other room, Frankie. Frankie, good, good, Frankie good person, and Lindsay, good friend of mine. We, we went up there and we saw um, the uh, Earth to um, Farm. For the farm workers that got murdered up in Half Moon Bay. The UFW. And so I was there for that event that Frankie invited me to attend. And Dave was there and I started talking football to this guy. And I love talking football. And this guy knows football. But before we get into football with you tonight, this man has a very sad story to tell. And, he, and it just happened to him. Just, what, two weeks ago? The 28th. The 28th of October. So tell us what happened to you. I went and did my taxes that day and got done about 7.52 and was tired and not thinking. Went to McDonald's to get something to eat, and I was going to go to the bank and deposit my money into the bank so I could pay my person that did my taxes and then pay my taxes. And I had my bank bag with me on my seat, my passenger seat that was on top of my tax returns that I was going to mail out. And a gentleman, the car in front of me, a gentleman jumped out of the passenger seat and came over to my window and said, give me all your money now. And... Um, he was on the, your driver's side. He was on my driver's side. He came out of his passenger side of the car in front of me. So I don't know who's driving the car. I couldn't see because it was all tinted windows. And he came out and said, give me all your money. And I was shocked. That it, you know, it was <laughs> So I handed him what I had. He seen the bank bag in my passenger seat, got into the car. We tussled a little bit with the bag. I pulled it. And some of the money flew out, and they ended up getting three thousand dollars from me. Oh. Um, and uh, the cops were called. There was a police report on it. The lady at the window, as you know, McDonald's now has glass on the window when you go pay for your food, and they don't, um, you know, they don't, they don't want people, you know, because of robbery. So um, she heard the ruckus. She called the cops, and uh, the cops came, and and now they're just looking through the cameras, trying to get the license plate of the people in front of me. And hopefully the car was not stolen. Hopefully we'll find out who did it, and uh, I know they'll, they'll won't do it to somebody else. So. Now here's the sad part of the story: the money that you had was going to be used for a special medicine that you take. It's at six hundred dollars a month. Six hundred dollars a month. I've been battling cancer for five years. I've had twelve surgeries in five years. I had prostate cancer, and it it went through my body, and I've had bone marrows. Um, I've had tumors removed out of my back. I've had stents put in my prostate. 
I've had um, kidney operation, and I'm getting ready to go in for another operation here in uh, December, um, November 13th. I actually going to meet with the doctors and surgeons. So that money was used for my medication, which um, my premium on my medication is 600 bucks for one pill that I take a month. So um, it was devastating. I was I was lost for four or five days still. Every time I look out my window, I see this guy sitting out my window, and I you know just just yeah, really just that's, irks a, that's me. what you call a nightmare. Yeah, so and you know what's interesting? I was telling this story, your story, to John B. Escura, my personal trainer, personal assistant, and he said, "Let's set up." John did. Let's set up a GoFundMe account for Dave. So. John put it all together. We're going to put it on screen now. And if you are out there and you have uh, a wish to help, how about that? A wish to help Dave August, then go to GoFundMe and give whatever you can. I mean, even if it's five bucks, we're going to put this interview with Dave on YouTube. And then Dave's going to send it to all his friends. I'm going to send it to all my friends. And hopefully we can get some funds back to help this gentleman with his nightmare. That's what I call it. It was a and nightmare. Whatever, and whatever, as long as I get my money back, whatever is over the amount, I will make a donation to the NFL Alumni Caring for Kids program. And so. you have something, and I brought this because you guys have your own mug. And this is Care for Kids. NFL Care for Kids, right? Yep. That's what you guys are doing, yep. caring for kids. Yep. And um, that's my mug from Dave. I'm going to exchange one of my mugs for your mug. Coffee mugs here. We're, we're playing coffee mug changes. But tell us about caring for kids and NFL alumni and how you guys do that. Well, we, we do different projects with kids. One of our biggest projects that I love the most, Gary, is um you know kids can be funny and you're just watching them running around and having a good time we do four football camps a year okay and we bring in kids that are that are you know parents are in prison or their foster homes and we bring in about 150 200 kids and we have different stations so we do a quarterback station a running back station a kicking station and we bring in 30 ball players and put those ball players at each station. Wow. And then we do a lift up. And a we talk up. to them about life and about drugs and about education and and you know what could happen if you don't pay attention it can go wrong. Yeah. And then we do a feeding where we feed them the best of food. Texas Roadhouse is our sponsor. Isn't Shout out wonderful. to Texas Roadhouse. Yes. And they absolutely. come and put a big spread on and we feed probably about 300 people that day because we feed not only kids, but we feed the family from the kids. So if their parents Beautiful. come, we feed them too. Um, so we take care of them. And then we do another one up in Corning, California. Where we go deal with autism kids that are on a borderline of autism. And we go up there and we do the same type of thing. We take some in the gym, some outside. And we go out there and just have fun with them. Just have a great time. You know, have fun with them and that's beautiful. Joke and laugh and just, just have a great time. That's great. Well, Caring for Kids, and that's part of the NFL Alumni Association, which Dave is involved with. And where's your offices? Our office is in Redwood City, okay. California. We're in the old 49er building. Oh, wow. On Madison. Red okay. Mort is where they used to be. Okay. And the practice fields are still behind us. Um, they're still there. And we have a little office now in Redwood City, but they're building as a brand-new state-of-the-art office, Redwood City, um, so how can they find you? Can they find you on your uh, e by email or your office they number? Can go to, they can go to the NFLWW dot, I think it's dot org, um, NFL NFL.org, NFL and you can go there, alumni. Slash, slash alumni. Uh, Dylan, can you see if you can find the website for uh, Dave's organization? And we'll put it up on screen. And if you want to contact this guy, if you want to talk football... This is the guy. He was telling me stories about when he worked for the Raiders, uh, John Gruden being the coach. We had a conversation today about John. Uh, it, it's fun. If you like football, you gotta, you got to talk to this guy. And maybe you can throw a few bucks in the GoFundMe for Dave and help him out. I really, really would appreciate if you guys do that. Is that. Put that back up on the screen. Let me see that again. Is there a... Uh, 
what what does it say there? Caring for kids in our community. Uh, is there the www on the screen, Dylan? Is that the one? Yeah, the NFL yeah. alumni. Where's the uh, www? Is it on there somewhere? Yeah, that's a beautiful site. Interested in joining the NFL alumni? You guys can join. Look at that. Yeah, donate to the NFL alumni. But first, before you do that, you got to donate to GoFundMe for Dave. We got to help him out. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank tonight. you. Well, thank I, you for having me, buddy. I, 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 met, I, met a, I met a friend for life, you, man. A friend you, for you life. You did. You did. You did. You did. We, we, as they say in life, sometimes you click on a lot of levels. And he and I clicked because he's a good guy for one thing. And then when I heard his story, I said, Come on the show. We got to talk about what happened to you. Yeah. And see if we can help bail you out. A lot of good things we talk about. A, a lot, lot of good, good things. things. But was, you want to talk football? Get a hold of him. Boy, does he know a lot. He talked about Al Davis. We talked for hours about Al. We talked about Mark Davis. Good, yes. Good guy. Good guy, great guy. We talked about the Raiders okay. in uh, in Vegas. Yep. Right. I can give you guys a list of stuff we do and what we're getting ready to do for the year. We have a um, toy uh, December, excuse me, November 18th. We are going to be doing a toy drive. In San Carlos, at a place called Auto Vino. Okay. We're going to be doing it with a famous group called the Drifters. Oh, we have a banner somewhere, Dylan, for that event coming up on the 18th of November. Can you find that? The Drifters, and we're going to have one the of the Drifters singers from the Stylistics. And Stylistics and, and the, the Delphonics. Delphonics. One of the singers oh, from the Delphonics. I love the Delphonics. They're going to be there too. Can you find that banner, Dylan? Uh, yes. Uh, let's put that on the screen. And you guys want to go to, there it is. Uh, coming up here, holiday concert, November 18th, and that's going to be in the city of San Carlos. It's going to be the Drifters, uh, singers from the Stylistics and the Delphonics. That's my kind of music. Yeah. I love those guys. Remember the movie um, with Robert De, De Niro? And yeah. uh, he was he was in the movie called, uh, uh, with Pam Greer, uh, Jackie Brown. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, okay, yeah. and the Delphonics music was playing all through Jackie Brown. I love That's that. That's awesome. I love that movie. That Great is awesome. Movie. And then we, anyway. have, then we have another event. More another, events. We have another toy drive on the 3rd at Livermore Casino. And that's in Livermore. It's a poker tournament. And then December 4th, we have what you call Shopping Day. Okay. So we go shopping all day. And we buy beanies and socks and um, uh, sh uh, sweatshirts and things that kids don't get. Because we get a lot of toys, but then what do you do with the kids that don't have a sweatshirt that are on the cold or in foster homes? There so we go. do a shopping day. You guys are too much. And then December 9th, we do another poker party at Stars Casino in Tracy, California. You guys are everywhere. And then on December 11th, we do a wrapping day. Where we wrap all kinds of presents from morning to nighttime. And then on December 15th, we jump in the fire truck and I dress up like Santa Claus. All right. And I go out there and I go with some other players and we deliver toys. Oh, good for on you. On the 15th, the 14th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, we go out there and deliver toys. And then we roll in. Oh my goodness! You our, guys have got a long list. We there. roll into our Super Bowl, which is when is the, the Super Bowl, Bowl? Dave is on the uh, February or January? February the eleventh. Okay, and he already told me the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be in the Super Bowl. So <laughs> we actually we have an event, another event, and that's called the Super Bowl of Golf, and that's in December. The 4th and 6th, and that's at Mission Hills, and that's in Orlando, Florida. Okay, are you going to put all this stuff on the website so people mm -hmm. can go to the website sure. and see all these dates? Yep. All yeah, right. They'll have all go to the dates. NFL alumni website. You'll have all this information. You'll be able to see all that. Okay, and if you want to talk to him, call the NFL alumni in Redwood City and say, Dave, I saw you on Monterey on tonight, and uh, who's going to be the two teams in the Super Bowl? I think it's going to be... 
Philadelphia looks really good. And? And you can't count out Mahomes. You cannot <laughs> count out City. Kansas City Chiefs. All right. The hammer. You heard it right here first on Monterey on tonight. Dave, thank you so much, Thank buddy. you so much. Oh, God and bless. you know what? Look at this. His Super Bowl ring from the Raiders. Nope, that's the Hall of Fame ring. Oh, that's the Hall of Fame. Where's the, where's uh, the Super Bowl? That's the one's in my pocket. Oh, in your pocket? Well, the take ha- it out. The Hall of Fame ring is, is take it given out. to me. Come on, come I on. I was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2018 for the Don't Give Up Award. And there's a Super Bowl ring from the Raiders, right? From the Raiders. Oh, wow. Um, I was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 2018 for the Don't Give Up Award for cancer. Good for you. Um, Good and, for you. Uh, You're a special guy. So um, I treasure that ring because I go out there and I help people. I go out there and talk to people and and um, people that are sick with cancer. I get phone calls at 2, 3 in the morning. I join a group called Cancer Companions. And people call me that are 20 years old. I got stage 4 cancer and they don't know what to do. And I try to talk them through them because half the half the thing with cancer is mental. That's right. If you keep your mental side up with cancer and you keep your mental side good, you can fight. And um, well, God bless you. So man. I do that also. You're, you're the best. So. He's one of the good guys, folks. Dave August from the NFL Alumni Association. Thank you so much for being Thank here you, tonight. Gary. All right, let's get back to more Fleetwood Mac right here on Monterey on tonight. <laughs> 